All right, guys, so first step is 30. That's what ARP calls for. So we're just gonna start going at 30. That's 30. You wanna work your way from the center out. That's 30. Same thing here. Just give me a sec, boys. Just got to the shop. So this is going to be part two. Like I said at the end of that, the other video, I had to go get uh, the right socket. So you just want to take your time with this. 30, we'll cross. Right, so you guys can do this all at home. You just gotta make sure your dowels are lined up. Everything's clean. You wanna make sure it's, everything's all real spotless. You don't wanna be jerking the torque wrench either, so. Very, okay. Thirty cross. So this is the same process for H series, F series, K series, everything. You want to work your way in and out. So cross over. Make sure you have the lube that they supply with it too. On the bottom, you can when you put the studs in, you can just give it a quick little dash of oil, and then it's uh, ten foot pounds. A lot of guys like to just put them in by hand, but if the threads are screwed up at all, it's gonna stop you. So, okay, thirty. So we're gonna go back over. We're gonna start from the center, right? See, it's loose again. We're gonna go thirty again here. 30. Thirty. Thirty. Same process. Thirty. This part you don't want to rush, right? You don't want to just run through it 30, then 50, then 80. You want to double check your work, you know what I mean? Should have had the car backed in. Get some better light in here, but it's all right. You guys get the idea, so. 30. Let's see, we're, we're at 30 now, all the way around. So now I feel comfortable about walking it. 50. So we're just going to turn our lock off, turn the screw up, right there, make sure your lock's back on, we're going to start the process over again. Right. Easy one motion. Okay.
Safety. We'll just check them real quick. All right. Get to think if you weren't working your way from the inside out, you would torque it down and then it'd be loose on one side. Gasket wouldn't have a fighting chance, so. Do it this way. It's time consuming, but you know it's all torque proper. Walk it way down, walk itself down. Okay, so that's 50. Now we're gonna do the final step. And if you look it up online, uh, normally they give you a chart. For some reason there's no chart, but uh, it's 80 foot pounds. So I'm gonna turn this guy up. So 80, 80 there. there we go, right there. Lock that guy back on. And we start our final torque process. So same thing, just go easy. Same thing. Eighty.
So you guys see how good of a process that is. So we blew out the holes real well. Uh, I gotta catch my breath because I'm trying to, you, you can feel it, you know what I mean? You can feel it either loose or tighten. So right now we got 80 on all of them. So I'm just gonna check them again, okay? Same process. Start from center, work your way out. So you just want to put like minimal pressure on the torque wrench because you don't want to like jerk it. You know what I mean? If you jerk it, it's going to give you wrong readings. So right, so you guys see how much that turned just because we got the whole head. So that's why you got to go over it. Okay, so that one. Okay. 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 Might as well do one final check, right? So a lot of guys get scared when they start pulling on it. 80 foot pounds is a lot more than people think. So you start pulling on that 80 foot pounds and then you can feel uh, like, let's say the studs didn't go, like we torqued it to 10 foot pounds. Well, the stud wants to go a little bit further. You'll actually feel it get easier turning and then you have to worry about, is this thing gonna snap off or does it feel good enough to keep going? You know what I mean? So that's why you got to make sure everything's cleaned real well. Um, so you're not over torquing the stud at the bottom into the block. So that's why I always take my time. It's a little bit of a process, but you guys can see you want to have this thing torqued down, right? Cause the first startup is going to seal this gasket. So it's torqued down, it's sealed right now, but the heat cycle is what's what's gonna basically make this thing seal up. So that's it. That's how you torque your ARP studs. So that that's the same idea for K series, B series, H series, D series, J series, whatever you want to call it, LS. Um, just make sure you guys find the proper torque sequence, and that's how you do it. So. Um, I'm going to get everything clean, prepped, oiled up all across so I can set the cams back in and get everything tightened down. I'll show you how to do that too. And then, uh, yeah, you guys can see the new water pump here, right? So I put a new water pump, new tensioner, blocks all cleaned. Um, everything's sealed up real nice there, you can see. So this guy's going to be really excited to get this thing back out and I can't wait to try it, tell you the truth. So. Just get us back in the old Honda game. It's been a long winter here in Canada. So um, outside, you can actually see the driveway now. So yeah, we're going to uh, get this lubed up here and I'll be right back, boys.